O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the presence of our Lord. Let us bow before the Lord in adoration. Let us thank the Lord for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank the Lord for His blessings and graces that we have received. Let us thank the Lord for the good health that we enjoy. Let us thank the Lord for His protection in spite of sufferings, struggles in life, for all the protection that we receive. Let us thank the Lord for each other. Let us thank the Lord for our own selves. Let us thank the Lord for this universe. Let us thank the Lord in a very special way today for all the doctors and nurses who take care of the sick entrusted to their care. Lord, we pray in a very special way for all the doctors and nurses who take care of the patients in homes and in hospitals. Lord, we ask you to bless them, strengthen them, grant them good health of mind and body, that they may be kept away from all infections, from all dangers. Lord, give them your healing touch. Let every physician, doctor, nurse know the healing hands with which you heal the sick. Let each one of us be a doctor, a nurse to the other, so that our patients, the sick, the suffering, and our neighbors are healed. Our own brothers and sisters in our home are healed. Let us seek for the intercession of our dear mother. Remember, o most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to their protection, implored her help, or sought the intercession, or left the needed, inspired by this confidence. I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Dear friends, let us take the hymn C26 on page 83 from the Joyful Lips. God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, is so good to me. God cares for me, God cares for me, God cares for me, is so good to me. God leads me on. God leads me on, God leads me on, is so good to me. I'll do His will, I'll do His will, I'll do His will, is so good to me. Let us take Psalm 118. The Antiphon, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Remember your word to your servant, by which you gave me hope. This is my comfort in sorrow, that your promise gives me life. Though the proud may utterly de deride me, keep I keep to your law. I remember your decrees of old, and these 
Lord console me. I am seized with indignation at the wicked who forsake your law. Your command has become my song in the land of exile. I think of your name in the night time and I keep your law. This has been my blessing, the keeping of your precepts. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For our scripture reading, let us take from Acts chapter 4, Verses 11 and 12. This Jesus is the stone which was rejected by you builders, but which has become the head of the corner. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, we are going to pray for all the physicians and nurses. Let us raise our hands in thanksgiving and raise our voices in praises to God. Lord Jesus Christ, we plead with you to surround all doctors, surgeons, nurses and others involved in the medical profession with love, strength and courage. Let your love and kindness awaken in them a sense of purpose, namely to be instruments of your healing touch. Direct them to adopt the right treatment for each patient that comes under their care. Enlighten, inspire, guide and govern the psyche of every physician, nurse and helper by the power of your spirit whereby the right diagnosis leads to the most appropriate treatment. Let every bit of any deadly disease be wiped out by your healing power working through their hands. Let every sickly cell be cast out and replaced with good ones. We make this prayer in faith, humility and trust. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, all the angels and saints. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glorify you, Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, give your church the grace to proclaim the power of Jesus our risen Lord. We have received the first fruits of His grace. Prepare us for the full revelation of His gifts, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now sing the hymn of the benediction and receive God's blessings. Let us bow in Serve to 
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.